Hello my friends. Here I'm dealing with a bell siphon that is stuck. It doesn't want to start the siphon and I played a couple days with it and with this system um, you know I have about 10 of these operating and when they're working they work flawlessly. However this one was stuck it would not create the siphon. So I went through about every scenario that I could do and I'm matching the systems with the ones that are working extremely reliable. So first thing I did was I changed I changed the size of the bell that was working. This is the one that was in there. I put a smaller one in and that didn't do it. Then I changed the diameter of the standpipe that's in there. Um, I went from a three-quarter inch to a half inch uh, standpipe. And here's the bell that I'm operating with. Okay, let me give you a look inside. Okay, you can see the standpipe there. It's a half inch standpipe with a flare and that should allow the water to start its siphon. Um, so I went from a three-quarter to a half inch. Um, with these, a lot of times you have to have a restriction as it's flowing down there to kick it into a siphon. So that didn't do it. And then my uh, next option was to try a coil in the pipe just a piece of metal that goes down the standpipe. This will cause a restriction to help it break its si or create its siphon. That didn't work. Um, then my next option was to change the uh, drain, the trap on the drain. See, I'm using a three-quarter inch pipe here, and I went to a half-inch pipe. Now. The way this one works is it holds some water in here when it's not uh, draining, when it's at the fill stage. And what this has to do is have some air pressure to push in here. This is why we're using a brick as a weight for the standpipe. And uh, that, that uh, bell siphon will float so the weight holds it down. That uh, floating action, that pressure that's building up, will push the water out of this trap and when the, the air gets down into here it'll cause a burp and that burp will cause a, a flex in the system and it'll make a, a quick uh, siphoning action, a real positive one. Well apparently with this three-quarter inch line uh, it wasn't getting enough pressure to push this to make that initial burp. So when I change it to a half inch it started working. Now, I have some of my systems with this and they work fine. So we're dealing with physics here and if everything is equal they should be working. That, you know, that should be a uh, given. Uh, you shouldn't have to say anything about it. That should be working. However, when it comes to these systems and the bell system and everything's even, it's like it's got its own personality so it's you gotta baby these and uh, just keep tweaking on them until you get them to work once they're working they go fine this is where we're at now this the system is cycling it's not flooding what was happening is this one was flooding uh, and it wouldn't, wouldn't uh, build the height up high enough to push that pressure out so now we got it to function with the smaller drain and we're good to go on this one. This is the last one. This is the bunk that was broken, that was repaired. So maybe that had something to do with it. We got it uh, about the entire system up and running, um, about ready to start planting. Well, thanks for watching, my friends. Bye bye.